Another important aspect in uh, cancer therapy in general is to try to uh, non-invasively be able to tell whether or not the specific drug or the specific therapy get to the tumor and not only gets to the tumor, whether the specific therapy is actually working. One way we do that based on the biomarkers that we could look at in the blood and the other way is to do what we call molecular imaging. So try to find a probe that would along with the drug that would go to the tumor and it lights up the tumor and not only look if the tumor is there but will also tell us an idea whether or not the drug is, is doing its efficacy. So it is targeting, it's, it's hitting its target and it is uh, working in the context of the tumor in a non-invasive fashion. So we develop developed uh, this uh, secreted or luciferase, exactly how the firefly lights up at night or in the sea you see many of the sea species also lighting up. So we took these uh, this luciferase that from the marine copepod, so we cloned this luciferase and we put them into these cell stem cell that we talked about uh, and now when these stem cell we engineer to to not only they make this luciferase but they secrete it out just like how the gaussia uh, princip the copepod does it so basically whenever we inject these cells in the into the mice the cells uh, secreting this uh, reporter what we call and then by just literally assaying the blood for the activity of this reporter we could tell whether or not these cells survive the injection if they are growing, if they are proliferating, so based on the amount of light that comes out of the blood, and also if we can uh, inject the animal with a substrate for this luciferase, we can light up the tumor. In that sense, we could say whether or not these cells have achieved or have arrived at their location at the tumor site.